Okay, just quickly before I get into the video, I talk about later on within this video about the purple meatballs and the purple keepers that you can spawn in during the main easter egg on Shadows of Evil. And I talked about how they may be our method in order to get either the second Xenomata or possibly the second tentacle to complete this second Apothecan Servant easter egg, which I'm going to be talking about within today's video. And uh, whilst I was talking about that, I said that we didn't know how we would spawn in these purple keepers or purple meatballs. However, since recording this video, uh, Juicebox, my friend Juicebox over on Reddit, has figured out a specific method with his team on how to spawn in the purple keepers and the purple meatballs within the Shadows of Evil main easter egg. And as I said, this is probably going to be one of the steps for getting ourselves this second Apothecan Servant. I will be having a full tutorial later on on the channel showing you guys how you actually do this easter egg step to get these purple keepers and meatballs. And I will also be doing a live stream where I do this step live and try and search furthermore for any future steps to continue this easter egg. But without further ado, let's jump straight on into the video. Hello guys, this is the Gaming Revolution here and welcome back to an all new Black Ops 3 Zombies Shadows of Evil video. So recently within the community, there has been a lot of talk regarding us possibly being able to get some sort of second Apothecan Servant within Shadows of Evil. Now in today's video, I am going to be going over all the pieces of evidence and knowledge that we know regarding this topic and if you do go in to enjoy this video by the end of it make sure to drop a like down below let's try and go for 1115 likes on today's video as well subscribe to the channel so you never miss a future upload here on the channel and don't forget to turn notifications on to ensure furthermore that you never miss an upload so with that all out of the way let's get right on in to today's video so all this recent discussion within the community has sort of come back to the community's attention regarding the noir mode easter egg and if you don't know what the noir mode easter egg is is if you go over to the boxing gym arena within Shadows of Evil, you'll see that there's tons of these portraits of different characters. Now, we were able to knock down two of these portraits. Now, one of them can be knocked down by pack-a-punching the Cuda to turn it into the Croc Tutor, and if you shoot this image, it will knock down, and the other image can be knocked down just by shooting it with any gun, which will reveal a cipher underneath it, and the image that you knock down is indeed of Peter Livingstone. Now, the interesting thing is, is that when this image knocks down onto the ground, if you then hold square whilst being crouched on that image to the two images, to the left of the image that you knock down with the cipher behind it, you will then activate noir mode and your screen will go completely black and white. Now, whilst being in this noir mode, the only times you are able to see color is when you go into beast mode or when you shoot the Apothecan Servant on the ground and you go within that portal. And you'll also be able to see the yellow colorations when the Marguars open their mouths. Now, within the code, there is references in regards to us being able to somehow exit the noir mode Easter egg. So people think this is an unsolved easter egg and we are able to do some sort of continuation whilst being in noir mode for us to get out of noir mode and some people have been thinking that this may tie into the apothecan servant in some way shape or form since it would make sense because as i said when you go into beast mode you don't see the noir mode come up on screen and when you go into one of the portals of the apothecan servant again they don't show up and also the yellow coloration when the magwars open their mouths still is visible and obviously you make the apothecan servant by getting a magua heart so with that all out of the way i want to jump in to everything we know regarding there possibly being a way for us to get ourselves a second Apothecan Servant within Shadows of Evil. So recently I've been messing around with PC mod tools a lot within Shadows of Evil to see what I can discover and find. So basically when you go onto the map of Shadows of Evil near where the spawn is, you will see that there are six different parts for the Apothecan Servant. There's two different hearts, there's two different tentacles and there's also two different Xenomatters. Now as well as this, there's also the four different gates worms which you can pick up as well. Now the interesting thing about this is as he said there's two different versions of the Magua heart. One of them is just the regular heart that you get for killing your very first Magua within your game. The second heart is indeed the dead Magua heart. Now if you don't know how to get the dead Magua heart you get this heart by completing the Shadows of Evil Easter Egg and within one of the final steps of the Shadows of Evil Easter Egg some purple Maguas will indeed start spawning in on the map and some of them will randomly drop these dead Magua hearts on the ground which you can then go and press square X 
Elixir F to obtain. Now it has been found out from the code that upon picking up this dead Magua heart, the game will save it within its data file similar to the nav cards from Black Ops 2, meaning that it may be part of some sort of bigger easter egg. Now in terms of the other two parts that are found underneath the map, there is also another tentacle and I believe this is a dead Magua tentacle because it isn't the same green coloration that the normal tentacle is, however the Xenomatter looks practically the same as the other Xenomatter. So what I was thinking is that maybe there is another way for us to go ahead and get ourselves a dead Magua tentacle as well as another version of the Xenomatter to build ourselves two different Apothecan servants within your game because if you didn't know, as he said, when you glitch out of the map whilst using mod tools on a PC, you were able to pick up all six parts for the Apothecan servant. Now upon picking up all six parts, the game will allow you to build two different Apothecan servants within your game, which is absolutely crazy. If you go up to a buildable table, you're able to build one Apothecan servant, and if you go up to another one, you're able to build another Apothecan servant, and that would also explain why there's three buildable tables within Shadows of Evil, but there's only two buildables, the Apothecan servant as well as the Rocket Shield. So people are thinking that maybe there is an unsolvable easter egg or an easter egg that we still are yet to solve that we may have to complete that could tie into the noir mode easter egg or maybe it's completely separate from the noir mode easter egg that allows us to get ourselves two different apothecan servants within our game. Because on screen right now I'm going to put up some footage of these plague pods. Now I'm not sure whose footage I'm going to be showing on screen but whoever's footage I decide to use of these plague pods I will leave their links down in this video's description so make sure to go check them out. But on PC you are able to sort of glitch the game a bit to allow these plague pods to spawn in on the map and they're pretty much identical to the pods that we see within Extinction within Call of Duty Ghosts and they spawn in by each of the different ritual arenas within Shadows of Evil. However near Jessica's uh, ritual table there is a bigger version of this plague pod and it's like the master pod I'm not sure on the exact name and apparently it's been found within the code that these pods relate to the Apothecan Servant in some way shape or form so what people are thinking at the moment is that as he said there may be a way to complete this plague pod easter egg and I don't know if this ties into the noir mode easter egg in any way shape or form but there may be a way for us to make a continuation with this easter egg to go ahead and grant ourselves this second version of the Apothecan Servant which would allow us to have two Apothecan Servants at once however obviously if in a two three or four player game two people might be able to get the Apothecan Servant at one current point in time without doing any glitch because obviously only one person can get an Apothecan Servant within the game unfortunately unless you do uh, a duplication glitch or something like that. Now as you were saying earlier we know obviously already how we get the dead Magua heart and this has been within the game from the very start of the game's release and they've never removed it once. Now some people have been thinking that all this stuff in regards to the plague pod and also the dead Magua heart as well as the fact that there's two versions of, of the Apothecan Servant's parts under the map that this could have all just been a scrapped easter egg. Treyarch were planning on adding some sort of plague pod easter egg to get ourselves a second Apothecan Servant but somewhere down the line they ran out of time or just decided to cancel the easter egg and never ended up finishing it and all this stuff that we're finding within the code regarding the plague pods could all just be left over and may not have been put into fruition within the game and that very well could be the case because obviously on Shadows of Evil when Shadows of Evil first came out we could upgrade the Apothecan Servant by doing a glitch. Now it was then found within the code that you can indeed spawn in these different cocoons around the map and there was a ton of other stuff found regarding upgrading the Apothecan Servant. So Cherka pretty much finished the Apothecan Servant upgrade easter egg in the game. They had all the steps already coded in and everything like that which is interesting. However then soon after the game was out they patched the Apothecan Servant upgrade glitch and they also removed the trigger for the very first step of the Apothecan Servant's upgrade easter egg meaning that there is no legit way to upgrade the Apothecan Servant on Shadows of Evil although they had a ton of the steps done for the cocoons and stuff like that. But for some reason they scrapped the easter egg and then ended up holding it back for revelations uh, and that's where we finally managed to upgrade the Apothecan Servant and obviously Jason Blum Dell did say within an interview with Noah J456 that it wasn't upgradable within Shadows of Evil. So similarly to that, this Plague Pod Easter Egg could again be a scrapped Easter Egg or something like that. But the Noir Mode Easter Egg is definitely within the game and as I said it might tie into this other Easter Egg we don't really know. Because obviously in order to get ourselves a Magua Heart, we have to kill a Magua and the very first one that we kill drops ourselves the Magua Heart. To get the dead Magua Heart you have to kill a purple Magua instead. So what I was thinking is because in order to get the Xenomatter, you get this by killing uh, the parasites as well as the meatballs and one will just randomly spawn one in on the map. So what I was thinking is that maybe there's a way for us to spawn in purple meatballs as well as purple parasites because I know within the easter egg people have actually encountered purple meatballs and they've also encountered purple keepers. Now people were thinking that these were just glitches but what if there is a 
legitimate way in order to get these purple meatballs and stuff like that to spawn in on the map. And maybe that's the way we get ourselves this other version of the Xenomatter. Maybe, I don't really know, that's just my own theory. But in terms of the third and final part, we obviously have the Magua Tentacle. So in order to get ourselves the dead Magua Tentacle, we may have to do something with the pods in some way. Because to get ourselves the first Magua Tentacle, you simply have to harvest the purple pods, which is the rarest variation of the pods. So what if there is a way to, as he said, get these plague pods to spawn in on the map? And maybe that's how we get ourselves this other tentacle that is used to build ourselves a second Apothecan Servant. I don't know. As I said, this could just be a scrapped Easter egg. We're not really sure. But it's definitely worth hunting nevertheless. Now, the last thing that I wanted to point out is, as I said, there's two different versions of the Apothecan Servant's parts underneath the map. However, when you're using mod tools, there is a second version of the Apothecan Servant found within the code called the Interdimensional Gun. However, the normal Apothecan Servant is basically an interdimensional gun as well, since it's referenced as ID gun within the code. Now, within the code, we obviously have three different versions of the Apothecan Servant, and we have three different versions of the upgraded Apothecan Servant as well, but we also have this interdimensional gun. And what this interdimensional gun does is it's a second version of the Apothecan Servant, but when you shoot it, instead of it doing this Gersh device-ish portal, it will simply blast these zombies away. It's a much worse version of the Apothecan Servant. Now, some people have been saying that maybe this was a scrapped Easter egg once again, maybe there was going to be a second version of the Apothecan Servant on the map, but I've decided to scrap it, and it never made it into the full release of the game. Well, I don't think that's the case, because when you shoot an Apothecan Servant on the ground, it creates this portal. However, as soon as the portal runs out, it creates this mini blast, which sort of shoots back all of the zombies in the nearby vicinity. So what if, just what if, this is just a theory, but what if they create this second version of the Apothecan Servant to simply code in this blast? Because that's what this blast looks like to me from the interdimensional gun. It simply looks like the effect that is made by the Apothecan Servant as soon as that portal disappears. So as I said, I think this second Apothecan Servant Servant isn't for an unsolvable easter egg and that's all it's for. It was just used to create the normal version of the Apothecan Servant or something like that. And also one thing I forgot to mention is that within the code you can also get access to the Wonder Wharf within Shadows of Evil uh, and a lot of people I remember back at the time Shadows of Evil release thought that maybe there was some sort of secret way to get the Wonder Wharf via some sort of unsolvable easter egg but again I think this is just left over from the giant. I don't think there is an, any unsolvable easter egg in regards to a Wonder Wolf, in my own personal opinion. But yeah, this is pretty much everything that I know regarding the second Apothecan Servant within Shadows of Evil. Let me know all of your thoughts on this down in the comment section down below. This is all very, very interesting indeed. Do you think there is a way to get ourselves a second Apothecan Servant? I don't know, but I'd like to know your thoughts down below. But anyways, thank you for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe if you're not for layers and greatest Black Ops 2 Zombies news information. So anyways, thank you for watching and uh, bye.